know. I mean, it's like I just try to go out and make each one different and uh, give people an experience in the theater. Uh, this was uh, shot during the height of the pandemic, which was a great cast. And what I like about this movie is it's a it's a very immer audiences have seen it with big audiences. It's very immersive because it's very tense. It's like if you were on a crime, what would it feel like if it all goes wrong and it's all happening very very fast? They just have to know that it's gonna. It's, it does have emotion in it, but it's it's an intense movie. You know, it's fun and it's a it's a good ride, but uh, it's it's got definitely got emotion at the end. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you a quick story. Spielberg, um, I'm friends with him, and he we used to a war of the worlds. And when Tom Cruise runs up the hill in the middle of the movie, the planes fly over, and you see all these explosions, but you don't see what's over the hill. I said, Stephen, I wanted to see over the hill. He goes, No, no, no it's a five million dollar scene. I cut it. I'm like Stephen. And then I realized, I've had all the money in the world in these big movies, he's had all the money in the world. It's great to just put restraints on your on your uh, yourself. And this was just down home, guerrilla style. Um, you know, it's just, uh, it was very immediate. It was a, it was a, it was a very claustrophobic in that ambulance uh, uh, environment. And that was the, the interesting thing. And I was very lucky, I got 52 real LA PD cops, um, real fire firefighters, so it's got a very authentic authentic uh, feel to it because I put the movie in my head I know what I'm going for and I always try to what is the, the point of this scene what do I want what's the emotion I want to get and and we try to expound on it you know and I, I shoot fast enough where the actors bring their a-game and I start throwing things at them not physical things but like <laughs> not physical things but um, you know ideas at them and they give me stuff and we start you know I give them room to play it's all about the emotion of you've got to feel it from the character's point of view. Action is boring if it's not if you're not if the character's not central to it. Well, I hear we have 250 LAPD sheriff firefighters uh, uh, paramedics here today. I swear to God, we do. <laughs> my first thought is, oh my God, how many explosions are there going to be in this movie? <laughs> and is he going to be able to control himself? Um, but it was amazing. I, I was just so excited. I think that my process was I read the script first without knowing that it was Michael Bay. My, my, my um, agent sent it to me. She's like, I'm not going to tell you who's going to direct it. Just read it. And I was like, that sounds like a trap. <laughs> and she's like, read it. And I was like, OK. So I read it. And I just fell in love with Cam immediately. I just felt like it felt like a real contemporary woman, a woman that I can relate to, a woman with dimension and, and capabilities but also quite vulnerable and broken and going through a moment in life and I just want to be embodying female characters like this more and more on screen and it's rare to see characters like this on action films so I was just really excited and then they're like it's gonna be Michael Bay and then I sat down and interviewed him I was like are you gonna do her justice and he was like yes and so <laughs> he's like he's always telling me you're like you're you're so pulsy I'm like I, I just really care, but I'm so grateful. And he's lovely. We get along so well. I just wish that they pay attention to what the paramedics and the first responders have been doing this entire two years. I'm so honored to be playing them. And it was just most, it was literally the most terrifying process of my life because I got it in the peak of the pandemic, the script, and I just was really nervous and, and really thought, who am I to be bringing this character to life? It should be someone that it's capacitated for this and um, and I just loved what a love letter it was to first responders but also for female paramedics and and I felt like as a woman of color being a Mexican woman an immigrant I, I just wanted to see more characters like this on screen being a woman like me that doesn't necessarily have to make a point of where she comes from or where she is and it just creates a norm and so I just hope that when people watch this Think about the real life superheroes. These are the real life superheroes, the, the the heroes without capes, and they have been sacrificing their entire lives in the last more than ever for for us. If you've seen the movie, if you've seen Ambulance, it, the energy of that, the frenetic energy of that, the chaotic brilliance is the exact same as being on set. Uh, making a movie with Michael Bay is exactly what you would imagine making movies is like it's 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 all right three two one action is cut it's fast um it's a it's a huge playground he's off the hook well you know we uh play brothers in the film and for us that's what we wanted to come in and protect which means that we had to be honest we couldn't take ourselves seriously we had to depend upon one another you know to get through the day to get through the scenes and we just at the end of the day just really had a ball you know we just came in 
it was sort of like a say yes, yes and. And, and that's what we did. We were very playful and uh, we had a good time. That's, see, that's what it is. Like when you come in with a spirit of fun and you only have about 39 days to do it, you know, uh, then you just have to be ready to just change with the changes and to be game to go out and to make things happen. So that's what this, this was. You know, Chris gave us an amazing foundation uh, and Michael was there to shake it up and to help us to get creative. And so it was really all about playing. When you say Michael Bay movie, I say, uh, yeah, I'll say explosions. Uh, 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 bombastic is a big is a word that comes with both Michael Bay and Michael Bay movies. So maybe that, yeah, because it implies that sort of explosive thing. The thing is that Michael is Michael is a Michael is a kind of film the kind of filmmaker that people wouldn't expect. In that, you know, some of the best filmmakers I've ever worked with are always following the energy and the honesty of something that's happening. And so he allows for things to roll and find you're finding things with him and he's laughing and we're joking and in the midst of that he finds energy and something that we love watching. And I think that's why you see incredible performance, like fun, ridiculous things that come out of so many people that he works with and that's why we love his movies. You know, I just want, I, I'm so excited for people to go to the theater. I think the idea to me of people saying we're going to have a huge experience and we're going to go there and we're going to have fun and we're going to have enjoy this crazy ride, to me that's what's exciting about this movie. And I think I'd love for people to take away also that the movie is a love letter to EMTs you know, and first responders, it really is, um, the incredible work they do. And yes, it gets big and, and bigger than life sometimes, but at the heart of it is the incredible work they do. The idea of the singing came from a, like a little bit of a seed of mine, of wanting to like, you know, I thought, I thought, how much can you do in an ambulance over a long period of time? And I thought, there's a radio, right? Yeah. And I just mentioned that to him, and then the, the choice of song was his. He's a Yacht Rock fan, so, you know.